Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one you know in Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be talking about four struggles that every single entrepreneur has. This is based off a blog post found on the achievable.xyz blog. Link to the post down below. There's a lot more there. There's 11 there, but covering 11 in a video would just take forever. So go check that out. First link down below if you want to see them all. But what are the what are the ones that I felt like pulling out? Well, it is these. First is unsteady income, and this is something that we struggle with as entrepreneurs all the time. Income varies wildly, sometimes up to 50% per month. I mean, you go from $1,000 to half of that, and that is just insane. I mean, when you're working for McDonald's, you don't have to worry about that, be it you also don't have the freedom that entrepreneurs have, but we're talking about struggles here. We're not talking about the perks of being an entrepreneur. So your income varies wildly. So you've got to be ready to combat this with budgeting and know like some months your revenue is going to be really high. For us, usually that's the summer. However, as soon as January comes, we're going to have a big, 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 big hit to revenue. That is what we know happens. And as you run your business, you'll learn this over time. But my best advice is to always keep at least one month of like bills and stuff saved up as kind of an emergency fund in non-invested cash and then have you know some invested cash that you can cash out if stuff really hits the fan but anyway unsteady income is one of the biggest biggest things that every entrepreneur struggles with number two is social acceptance some people just don't won't get you as an entrepreneur they won't understand your mindset they won't understand what you do they won't understand how it all works and because of this You'll, in many ways, feel like a social outcast when you first become an entrepreneur. Luckily for me, I have my best friend and business partner, Patrick, to kind of come along the journey with me. But we've worked with so many other entrepreneurs who didn't have anyone else to do it with. They were on the journey 100% alone. And man, oh man, is it difficult. You know, you lose friends. You get outcasted by family members. People, for some reason, have this adverse effect to entrepreneurs uh, that you really wouldn't expect, especially if you really get into the entrepreneurial mindset and really are proud about that, like I am. It's something that a lot of people have to deal with. They get pushed out by their family. They get pushed out by their friends. And that's okay, because I promise when that happens, just keep, keep going, keep learning, keep growing, and you will find way better friends than you've ever had who have the same mindset as you who also believe in entrepreneurship. Moving on, number three is the rich impression, as we call it. And what the rich impression is, is people for some reason assume that every entrepreneur is either broke or, the rich impression, a millionaire, right? They're like rolling in cash. They've got $50 million stuck in the bank and they're good to go. But the truth of the matter is, most entrepreneurs are middle of the road. Most aren't. 50 million, 100 millionaires, and a lot of them aren't broke. They're in the middle. They make enough to live, support themselves, have an awesome life, and, you know, more perks than most people a lot of times. But they're not millionaires or billionaires or even have more than, you know, like $100,000 a year in income. A lot of times they're just normal people who uh, make an average amount of money, but they work for themselves. The rich impression is something that so many entrepreneurs deal with, and some would say it's a bad thing, some would say it's a good thing. I don't know where I stand on that, but uh, if you're an entrepreneur, let me know what you think about that down below. Anyway, what is number four? Wrapping up the list, number four is failure. Everyone says this when they're talking about things that entrepreneurs have to go through, and the reason is if you've experienced it, you know how hard it is to fail at a high stakes business, like a high stakes failure. For example, we've lost over $5,000 on a business. That is a big failure and it hits you hard. It takes months to recover from something like that. So it's extraordinarily important that you just keep pushing through all of your failures and dealing with the failures. And failures are something that if you're an entrepreneur, you just have to come to learn to accept and move through and uh, learn how to deal with them and learn from the failures. That's the biggest thing. You've got to learn from the failures. Anyway, those are four entrepreneur struggles. Again, first link down below blog post with 11. That's too many for my hands. There's 11 plus one down below in that blog post. So go check that out. It's an amazing mega blog post. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is kind of an example of some of the content I'm going to be uploading on the later half of the week on my channel here. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, give it a thumbs up, tweet me, tell me you love it, all of that stuff. I'm Nick's Games. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out, guys. Peace.